It's been a day, hasn't it? Two yeah. weekends in a row. Yes, uh, I came back today because I thought that it might not be so busy and I could get uh, a little bit more time to film, but it's been busy again today. Not like last weekend, but still a lot of visitors today. Yeah. And uh, we just wanted to take a few minutes and talk about the meet and greet. Uh, we didn't get to talk to everybody and we didn't get to see everybody. Um, uh, Tiffany was busy making bologna yes, sandwiches we were. and cooking and everybody was uh, had a good time. And I do, do apologize if we didn't get them in the video that they wanted to be because I'm just one person, me and my, me and my iPhone and just couldn't get to everybody. That's right. And, but we did want to go over a little bit of the, the, the book. If you ever come to R.M. Brooks, is make sure you sign the guest book because this has been going on, what, since 2018? It goes back, uh, yeah. I believe. Yes, I think There's so. a really cool old vintage book, too, that it's in. Yeah. So uh, we're going to, uh, what, what was the farthest? Uh, we had nine, I think, nine, eight, nine states, different states on last Saturday that came. Yeah, uh, Arizona was one. Um, we had Ohio. I had a list. Alabama. Um, Mimi went through it for it. The Kentucky, Huntsville, Alabama. Um, Ohio, Knoxville. Let's see. It's think. all the way over here, over to here. Yeah, there were, there there were was, so many that we've kind of, um, South Carolina, North Carolina, yeah. uh, Tennessee. We had a lot of Tennessee here. North Carolina. So. I know there was Arizona, because like I said, Mimi went through it for me and, and counted. And There's somebody from my hometown, Jacksboro. I didn't even yeah. see them. I don't know who they are. That's neat. So yeah, I had to put my glasses on there for a minute, but uh, we just want to um, tell everybody that we're sorry we didn't get to everybody, and there's a lot going to be going on this year, so there's going to be a lot of events coming up that people can come to. Now, yes. when do you do your uh, cruise-ins? Uh, it's the first weekend in May and the first weekend in September. It's the same every year. First Saturday in May and the first Saturday in September, whatever those dates are. And that's for cars, the first one, or motorcycles? They're both for cars. Both for cars. I do two a year cruisings, and they're just cruisings. They're not car shows. Uh, I do have a entry fee, or like when you come into the backyard, um, and then there's a drawing for the cars. So I always pick out some cool gifts for the cars. And um, we serve up, we have a uh, a band that comes in plays called Hollerback. They're out of Crossful. I've been using them for years now. They're great. We love them. Um, I say 11 to 4, but I probably need to change that probably because the guy, a lot of the guys will come at like 10 o'clock in the morning, 9.30 in the morning. And when I do the, the drawings, then everybody seems to leave. I try to hold off the drawings as long as I can, 1.30, 2 -ish, you know. And then after that, the, the car is kind of, you know, dissipate. So so yeah, there's those two events coming up, and mm -hmm. we'll be here probably most likely to film at both of those events. And then uh, there's the the world's longest yard sale in, in uh, August. Mm -hmm. That uh, Jamestown, which is just about 15 miles from here, is like the hub of where it all started. So the the most of the bulk of the vendors are between here and Clark Range. Yes. And I'll have uh, I've got several videos in the Plateau area where people can come right here within a 20 30 mile range and yes. see so many different things. So they could come and stay a whole week. Oh, yeah. Uh, during the yard sale, uh, that time's really hard to get a motel because there's people yes. come from everywhere. You have to kind of stay, a, uh, you know, maybe in a diff another direction. But the rest of the time, motels are really available. Then you got your mom's got the bed and breakfast. Yes, sir. So that's probably still available to maybe some rooms during that, maybe. She usually has people that will book from year to year. Year to so year for the gonna, yard sale. If you're looking at coming in at the yard sale in August, then you need to book with her yeah, pretty quickly. Yeah, that August is hard uh, to, for booking anything. Outside of that, you also have uh, the Jordan Motel mm -hmm. that's just down the road in Jamestown. It's a vintage motel. We're going to make a video about that one day real soon. Uh, so it's a cool place that if you want to come see real America uh, here and come to a place that's not um, commercialized, right. like not to say Gatlinburg or Pigeon Forge, but and there and there's several lodging places in the village. Um, I'm not really sure how they book up. Your biggest thing would be, of course, food, but. There's uh, several places on Airbnb that's right here in Rugby, Anna Cara. Um, there's Ivy Cottage that Historic Rugby has, uh, Pioneer Cottage, uh, the Newbury House. So right here in the village, there's several places. And then there's several Airbnbs in the area, too. Oh, yeah. So you might check out Airbnb if you're going to come in August. But yeah, that's the only time you're going to have a hard time getting this right. during the world's longest mm -hmm. yard sale because this this is in Jamestown, 15 miles from here. It's where that originated, and it's grew 650 miles. So anytime outside that, you're you can probably get at, at, at Miss Linda's over there mm -hmm. at the Gray Gables or the Jordan Motel. 
but you come anytime and you'll there's you can spend four five six seven days plan your vacation to come to the Columbia Plateau up here yes and we'll have uh, I hopefully have a list of different places I filmed so you can see them mm -hmm. and we're have going you filmed the prison yet no, we have not done Brushy Mountains Prison yet. We right. did do the jail over in Scott County. Right. That's another place that's right. not far that they can do a historic jail there. Uh, but the Brushy Mountain Prison, we hope we do that. It's, it opens in March. Yes. So really, you've had a lot of traffic for January already. Absolutely. So it's going to be fun seeing everybody come out. Uh, somebody said, I think on their um, on the comments, on YouTube, they said that's coming from Scotland this year. Oh, wow, nice. <laughs> so and I had a uh, phone call today from a lady from Pakistan. Oh, really? I can't pronounce her name, but she has uh, friends in New York. So that will be, she's going to have them come. And when she comes back over here to the United States, she's going to come visit. So that was really neat today. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. We'll be doing a bike event this year. I just don't know the date yet. Um, I've tried to do a bike event for motorcycles. And I finally, I think last year, I hope I hit my niche, but it's instead of doing it a set time, like I do the cruising, it's just a day. So Miranda and I at the jail in Scott County, we partner together. She has a motorcycle ride that she does. She just picks out different routes. And then all day long, I just celebrate motorcycle riders. Last year, she did this really cool sticker. And so all the motorcycles that came in on that particular date, uh, got a sticker from me and Miranda had drawn it so it was really neat and so it's a kind of a one-of-a-kind thing so I her and I have not talked yet so I don't know the date yet but it'll be sometime I, it may be the last weekend in May uh, you know it won't I won't wait till it gets too hot and of course we'll wait till it gets warm enough and then it'll be on a Saturday and motorcycles can ride from wherever and we just kind of love on the motorcycles so so yeah, there's there's a lot of places to come to here in this area, uh, all the way down to from Muddy Pond and Clark Range. A and Z Printing is an antique place that I've filmed. It's everybody's loved. Uh, I'll try to make on a, a list of, so people can check it off to come here. Uh, so there's you're, you've got all the way from whenever you're going to be vacation all the way into the fall because down in Muddy yes. Pond they make sorghum. They have a sorghum mill, and that's going to be really interesting to see that. Right. So if you even come in the fall, a lot of people like to come see the leaves. Right. So there's going to be a lot of different places to come yeah. to, and we just like to encourage you to come out. Yeah, and I was going to say also in May uh, is the Mountain Laurel Festival. It's Morgan County puts that on. So the store here is in Morgan County, and of course the county seat is Wattburg, and uh, the Morgan County Tourism Alliance puts on a Mountain Laurel Festival every year, which is super cool. They do an amazing job, so it's about 30 to 40 minutes from here. Um, that's the third weekend in May. So there's always something like if you can't come to this area and just see the things that John's been filming, there's also usually like events like the Mountain Laurel Festival. Uh, the Pumpkin Festival is the first weekend in October. It's in Allert, which is 12 miles from here. It's huge. It's where the largest pumpkin, it's, they draw, it's just this little, little area and they draw probably 10,000 people, but it's really cool. People come, craft vendors, food, um, and they weigh the largest pumpkin, uh, probably the, I think the largest watermelon. I don't get to go every year because I'm always working. Um, so there's always some sort of festivity or something going on. The prison does uh, car shows. They have concerts down there. So if you come to the area, there's plenty, like you said, to keep you busy uh, for several, several days. Um, little spread out, but not too bad. And then we've got some of the greatest. We've got the Big South Fork. We have Pickett State Park and we have Frozen Head Park. Um, all Frozen Head, Pickett State Park are amazing. Of course, the Big South Fork is a national park. So we're right here on the cusp of it. But um, so there's tons of waterfalls, hiking trails. I mean, there's, you know, you can go to picnics in Frozen Head. I love Frozen Head. Uh, Pickett State Park has a little, um, a little kind of lake, a man-made lake, and so you can bring your kayaks. They have different, act, tons of activities at Pickett State Park. So there's really a lot to do in this area that's, especially if you like nature and, and not a lot of traffic. And you're right, sir. So. I hate traffic, so I love, the only time you're going to have traffic is during the 127. So if you don't yeah. like traffic, during the 127 World's Longest Yard Side, that's not the time you want to come because no. it can be hectic during yeah. that time. But outside that, I love that it's, just uh, you're out in the country you're about an hour off interstate 40 and an hour off interstate 75 right. so you're out in the country a little bit but once you get here there's a lot to do and uh, we just want to encourage you to come out and see real america and uh, see one yeah. of the very last uh, general stores like this it's family owned and operated for 100 years now yeah. 
and we're, I'm gonna be doing so many things, and this is just this is just January, and we're already kicking yeah. the year off good. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's really exciting. So, what else? Well, I'm sure we'll find something else. What else? Well, I just thank everybody that came out to the meet and greet last night. There was tons of tons of names, different places, so we were super super excited. We just want to recognize everybody that came out and our locals and. Uh, oh, I know something yeah. I was going to mention. We get a lot of comments on YouTube, but Tiffany doesn't have the ability to, she doesn't get on to see the YouTube comments. So, oh yeah. So a lot of people said, uh, Tiffany, you need to start your own channel. And she doesn't even have YouTube really a, a, an account. So you all don't want me doing my own <laughs> YouTube channel because I can't even barely get on my phone sometimes. So, so. Uh, there's a lot of comments on there that she hasn't got to see. And so she doesn't answer you back. And I don't answer yes. back because I'm a one man operation. I get about 500 comments a day. And I'll answer, if you email me, I'll answer back, but the comments, I just can't get to them every yeah, day, so and, I apologize for yes, that. Yes, and so I don't get to see them all. I tried to go on there, and I do try to look at the comments, and I try to like things or whatever, but that's true. I don't I've seen you do it on Facebook some. I do it on Facebook. I don't think I can go more, onto the YouTube. Right, more so. likely if you want to leave her a comment, you can go on the Facebook. I generally will post the video on YouTube first, mm -hmm. and then share a link to Facebook. Yeah. So she can get on and see the so, Facebook better. Yeah, so don't get mad at us. We're not ignoring you. We just uh, making hamburgers and fried bologna sandwiches has to come first. Right? Right. And if you do uh, want to call me, I'm, I'm loving the phone calls and that's fine. Um, but just keep in mind that between, I don't usually get here to the store because I'm blessed with Katie till about 11, 1130. And then between 12 and 3 Eastern Standard Time, I'm pretty busy. So I try to answer everybody's phone calls, but sometimes you might catch me in the middle of trying to flip burgers, so it's hard for me to give you one-on-one -on -one attention. So, But if you do have questions about the store or the campground or anything in the area, if the girls can't answer it, I will try to personally uh, answer it. But I am kind of getting where I'm like... It, it's just hard. I've only got two hands. and You do uh, you do have a Facebook page, too, and it's R.M. Brooks, and it's R.M. Brooks together. There's not yes. a space in between the R&M. No. So there's another one on there that maybe you had at one time, maybe. Yes. So find the one that has no space, R.M. Brooks, and that way you can message her on Facebook, and then she can get back to you more. Because there have been so many questions about things that I feel bad that I can't answer them because it's about cooking or different things, and it's like I don't want people to think that we're ignoring them. No, and we're not. And I've given out the recipe to people so far. Uh, I have given out the recipe for the fried pie, so I'll share my recipes. And, and But the main ingredients is a lot of love and a lot of prayer, so that's what we do. <laughs> well, the Brooks family, uh, I've got to know your mom and your uncle and you, and it's I've been here almost two years coming, and it's like family coming here, and I just enjoy coming so much. And uh, we're going to let them go right now, and we'll see them on the next video. Does that sound good? That sounds good. See you all Bye. next time. Bye-bye.